Today we'll be using only three colors of three colors of acrylic paint, black, green, and white, and we'll mix them together to make different shades. We need water for the paint brushes, a paint palette, your paint brushes. As you can see, we have a sponge brush, a round brush, a um, oval brush, a detail, and a fan brush. Oh, I also decided to use gold acrylic. Hi everybody, I'm Christy Whittier. Welcome to my studio again. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a forest. This is a beginner's class and um, I have this 12 by 12 <clears throat> canvas that I'm going to use and I showed you the materials in the beginning. So if you need to pause this at any time, go ahead and pause it and or slow it down and catch up. But I'm going to quickly show you with the three colors. I have the black. green and white now i use white like a lot of white because the pigment is really thin on white and i use really cheap paints because i go through a lot of painting and black pigment is um really really thin it could really spread so quickly what you want to do is you have to cover the canvas the background is going to be a, like white but just because the canvas is white doesn't mean we shouldn't have to paint it please paint your canvas or else it will look incomplete everyone will see that you didn't do it and it'll look like you're missing something so let's do this i brought on these sponges because you could quickly i'm going to get some water in the sponge i always use warm water I like to paint with warm water. It seems like it would condition the brushes better. And then I got it wet. I'm going to kind of drip it out and then put it in the white and then just start going back and forth with it. And now you won't have any brush strokes. I still have a lot of water on my sponge. So has a lot of water. Get the edges for real. Don't forget the edges. Again, it'll look incomplete. All right, I hope you're painting along with me. I'm going in one direction, going horizontally. Um, if I were going all over the place, it just wouldn't look very nice. I'm going to get this edge. I got a little too much water on this. I guess I was a little too excited to start this video. I also forgot to put on my apron. I'm going to go do that. Apron on. Okay. So we've coated this canvas with white. Make sure you didn't miss any. I'm just swapping this around. Okay, look, always protect your surroundings. I don't know how many apartments I have destroyed carpets and walls from paint. I'm sorry to say but make sure you have something on the ground that, where you won't like ruin the carpet. Put plastic down something. I'm letting this dry. Pretty. Oh, that is not all the way dry. Great. Here is our white canvas. And now this brush I can't leave it like this. If I were to just sit this aside and paint, it would dry up and die and I'd have to throw it away. So wash it out. Right now, I'm not gonna do that because I'm doing this video. So I'm squeezing it into the cup. And you know what? I'm just gonna let that live there for a little bit so it doesn't dry out. Okay. Now I'm going to do trees. So I'm going to do background trees first. Um, 
So in perspective, if something is further away, you can't see so much of the detail. But when things are closer, you see more detail, like energy, like sound energy. When it's far away, it kind of dissipates. But when it's close up, you get it real loud. So that's the same with when you're looking at something. So first we're going to paint the background trees and they're going to be very faint. No detail, we're going to just quickly do this. Now here's the colors that I have. Um, this color is way too bright. So this green, I'm gonna take this green and give it a new home because this is about to be a new color. And I'm taking some of this black. I'm gonna make a really good forest green. And it's really thick and clumpy. I don't like that. I'm gonna get water on my brush and add some water. Still a little too thick. Add some water. I'm getting really close to the camera. Okay. All right. Um, I want a little more black. So, so um, you wanna be really nice to your brushes. Don't push them down and scrub them, roll them. You can kind of wring them out like you wring out clothes and just like um, pat, pat and roll out your brush. Scrape it off. Please don't dig down on your brush. You're gonna sprawl out all the bris bristles. That sounded country. You're gonna sprawl out all the bristles. All right, look, I'm adding white because I want this to be really faint this background. I'm adding more white. I'm going to add a little more black because I would like for it to be a little more gray. I don't want to see all the bright green because it's far away. And this brush is super loaded. Uh, that's still a little dark. So I'm going to add a bunch of white. Um, see, it's coming. I like that. It's pretty nice. Um, sure, that looks good. Now my brush is super loaded, like it's way too loaded, it's all puffed out. I don't wanna use that. I'm gonna just wash that out, that's too much. I scraped off as much as I could. Now I'm gonna just dry it off a little bit and I actually want to load it back up with just water. It's pointed, see I dried it off first to point it, so it's pointed again and now I'm gonna give it water again. And I'm gonna take just a little bit. Look, I'm only using the tip of my brush. I'm not loading it up, it still has the shape. That's really important, be careful guys. So I'm gonna add uh, a tree here. I'm gonna add a tree here. I'm gonna add, I just put a little more, loaded the tip. Um, a tree here and a tree here. Okay, good enough. And I'm gonna take this color, the same color, and now, okay, so these are like pine trees, so at the top, they kind of point up, and then as the branches get heavier, they just kind of go down, and I'm just, um, the branches point down, but they're horizontal, don't make them go vertical. Look, I'm gonna use the side of my brush to tap it, okay? and then we'll get trees. Don't fill it all the way in. Look, I need, my brush is getting dry, so I'm just giving a little bit more. I don't ever want to hear scraping, and I'm just tapping. There we go. Do a little more. Ooh, that looks like too much. I'm going to get some off of my palette. Okay. So I'm just tapping the side. Now the branches are getting bigger and heavier. Okay, um, well now I don't like how much paint is on my brush because it's starting to get thick. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in a little because I'm running out of water. Reload your brush with water. A little too much water. Okay, and now get some paint. It's very similar to watercolor painting. I like watercolor painting, but I like 
watercolor painting with acrylic, if that's a thing, I don't know. But if you do really thin layers of acrylic, you can get some um, really good detail. And more layers you can get, um, it looks like more realistic. So let's see. Make sure your tree gets bigger as it gets to the bottom. Oh, see how I just went up? I shouldn't have went up on that. No, taco! That's no taco's butt. <laughs> That's taco cat. Get off. Yeah, that should be kind of slanted down more. Um, and if you make a mistake, you could just get your brush wet. Look, I'm getting the sides because I want it to kind of go over. Look, nice. If you make a mistake, say, oh, I hate that line. Well, I'm gonna clean off my brush completely with water, completely clean and watch. I'm just gonna delete delete take my napkin gone but um it can't be too dry if it's too dry acrylic is plastic so it just hardens into plastic so that's the end of the story i'm gonna add a little more white i'm scraping it off my brush i don't want it too much get a little water I like it light like that. All right, kind of going up with the branches as we're at the top. I'm just kind of scribbling them on at the top. And then that's when I start laying them. Once they get bigger, I start laying them. Now this tree obviously looks like it's behind the front tree. So I should have used that color first. I'm gonna go over it. I don't like this dark color. So I added more white. If you add white to a color, it is a hue. If you add black to a color, it's a tint. So I'm making this green hue. I actually tinted it first. So I put some black in that green. This is, brush is way too loaded. I'm gonna scrape some of this paint off, clean my brush off. So this is why you should use palette knives to um, mix paint, but I uh, don't. The reason why I don't use palette brushes is because um, maybe laziness. All right, go on and fill that in. I'm gonna put some trees above this anyway, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. Look, you see how that looks like it's behind? And it's less pigment than the one in the front. I'm gonna put another tree back there. So now I'm just gonna kind of zoom in this because I don't, um, want to take forever. Ooh, see what happens if I just do it like that? It doesn't look very good. Okay, I want to show you all the fan brush, which um, I know a lot of people really love, but this, look at this brush. I just bought it, and I have to say, it's probably one of the worst brushes I ever bought. Not because it's a fan brush, but because, like, it shouldn't be splitting like that. If your fan brush is splitting like that, I just used this one time. So, anyway. Um, you could just take your fan brush and just kind of dab it out. And then you'll get um, tree branches. 
looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't use the fan brush a lot because I don't really do a lot of trees. I really like to draw people. I've made that too fat on the inside. Doesn't matter. I need more water. It's getting too dry. The paint's getting too thick. So I'm just adding more water. Okay. Yeah, that's better. If it starts getting really thick or like dry, if you're a scraping sound, um, give it water. It's thirsty and it gets thirsty a lot. This doesn't really matter what it looks like back here because I'm about to put a tree in front of it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to rinse this off because that acrylic paint will stick in there. It's not really good to leave your brushes in the water because do you see they're held on? Um, they have like glue in there. Okay, my water's already super murky. I'm gonna take back to this. And kind of make this a little thicker by tapping on the edge. Plus, not everybody has a fan brush. You have to always want to paint trees to go buy a fan brush. Okay. Next tree in the background. I'm wetting my brush because the paint is starting to get thick with the air. Um, we have the heat cranked up. I have the heat cranked up because um, it's cold outside. Okay, that's a little too light. Added a little more green to it. Give it a little more water. Okay. Again, we're kind of going up with the branches. And then we're down the up. You know what? My brush is too fat. Look at that. It's too fat. This is a round brush, by the way. I love a round brush. It's probably my favorite. Not probably. It is my favorite brush. So I just rinsed out all that paint that was inside of it. And look, I put it back to its point. Now I can work with this brush. I'll put it up against my forehead. All right, but now I need to get it wet again. And I'm just getting the tip. See how it was getting big and fat and chunky? Well, now I have nice detailed lines because I cleaned out my brush. Very important, clean out your brush. It'll be okay. Acrylic paint lasts forever. And I get the really cheap stuff. So you can just buy a bunch of it. So I got these brushes at a local craft store and I got the paint from a local craft store. You can get it from big chain stores too, um, like Walmart for really cheap. I love, you can get all sorts of crafts anywhere now, like canvas and paint and the way it used to be, you'd have to go to the art store. You'd have to make a special trip downtown to go to the art store. Not anymore, they have it everywhere because everybody's crafty. Okay, just filling this in because I'm actually going to put a tree um, up here. So this is kind of just looking like fill. I'm just putting this here, doesn't have to look good. Except the edge should probably look good because that's gonna show. Do you see that? I like this color, it's like a sage. Okay. Look at the depth of those trees. 
I'm going to add one right there. Should I? I don't know. I really like how it is. It's pretty. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be bold. So I want to stick with the light color, that sage color I made, but I'm taking that green that I also made and putting it in here to darken it up a little. Cleaning out my brush because it's loaded with paint and I don't like the shape of it. Shape it back, get a little water on the tip and there we go. I'm gonna put a tree here. Notice how I'm not going like swoosh, 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 swoosh. That's, um, don't do that. I don't know what to say. Just don't go, don't make the lines like that because it'll just look like you did that with a paintbrush. If you dab it while it's on its side, it um, makes it, gives it like a better look. Look at that drip. That's a mess up. So what I'm gonna do, clean off my brush. Now it's all full of water. I'm going to just erase that. See, that's what I like about acrylic paint. That and it's fast working. Well, I waited too long. I'm gonna have to paint it white. And that's okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to do the foreground trees. Cleaned my brush off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do like a forest green. I'm gonna take this green, this bright Kelly green a dip of black. I put way too much black on my palette. Look how, if I did equal amounts, look how much of that black swallows up my green. Big time. So you know what I'm going to do? Go to another side and I'm going to take some of this with all that black that I just mixed up and grab some green and mix that up. And that's starting to be a pretty nice forest green. I'm going to actually take a big glob more. Hope you all like these videos. If you like it, subscribe, hit thumbs up, make a comment, tell me what you like, or if you have any questions, or if you'd like to know more, what you'd like to see, if you want to see anything special. All right, my brush was too fat. Wash that out, wash my brush out. Okay, shape my brush again. Now I have that forest green. Look at all my greens. Okay, I'm gonna wet, this. look, this is way too thick. So I'm gonna wet my brush and just with the tip. This is also why I don't mind getting cheap paint because it's really watery. But I don't care, I water it down anyway and act like it's a watercolor. All right, we're gonna give a big tree here. That's where our big tree is. So, oh, that's a lot of paint, yuck. I don't like what I just did there with my hand. So what I'm gonna do is take another brush with water and delete, delete, ugly. I usually set things down, but I'm like holding everything so I can film this. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add a lot more water and actually make a whole new home for the watery green. It's nice to have it where it's super liquidy. Okay. So back at it, much better. And then I'm just tapping it again. 
Um, I'm also covering that centerpiece because you don't want to see that big line right there, see-through. It's okay because it's a tree trunk, but go over it. And what I mean by go over it, oops. Okay, what I mean by go over the middle is like you're going to tap in here. You're not just starting from the center and making a bunch of smiley faces. You're tapping through the center because that's what the tree would do. Getting that water and paint. Make sure your tree gets bigger at the bottom. See, I'm just tapping the side. I need more water, and more paint because I've used up all of that. Yeah, those are okay. I think, yep, they're looking okay. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to look at my artwork through a camera lens. <coughs> it's like it changes my eyesight or something, like it gives me a different set of eyes. So if you take a picture of your artwork and then look at it, it'll really like give you a different perspective on what it looks like on things that you could change or what you might like about it. Okay. Um, I think that's good enough. <clears throat> okay. Got that tree going. Oh, you know what? I didn't give it a little branch. It's okay. You don't want them perfect because it is a tree. It does what it wants. Um, that is super thick. I'm wiping off my paintbrush. I'm going to take some of that paint that I just did there <clears throat> and then just kind of like move it over. Ah, it's so heavy up there. Darn it. I wish I didn't do that. Okay. Well, oops. let's see. Um, anyway, that's a big tree. I am going to do one right here. I need to wet my brush, load it up with some water, get some of this paint here, the darker green I just made. Go ahead and bring a tree here. All right, let's go. I, th I think I overworked that one, but it's okay. Okay, branches are getting heavier. We gotta start slanting down. Filling it in. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Okay. 
There's our trees right there. Um, cleaning off my brush. I'm gonna get some white because I kind of messed up down here. It dripped a little, which is okay. Okay. And now that needs to dry. Now we're gonna add some snow on the trees. So this is where you where you ah so clumsy. This is where you will use your detail brush. I really love this detail brush. Can you see it? Maybe I'll put it on my forehead. Nope, can't see it there either. That background. Can you see that? There it is. Look at that. I love that. Okay, this little bended thing. When it's so tiny like this, and you're hovering over, and you're like it's so little. This is a little bendy stick to help you get details so your hand isn't in the way. So I'm gonna get it wet. I always wanna get the brush wet first. And then I'm dipping it in white just a little bit. Look, these little tiny detail brushes, you have to be real careful with. You can ruin them real quick. All right. So now I'm going to give the front trees some snow and the snow is just sitting on top of the branches. <clears throat> so don't do like a smiley face, like where you're like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. don't do that. Just dab them, dab that white on there. And look, I'm going to go right here in the middle too, because um, the branches go in the middle. Like if you were to look at a tree, you would see um, snow in the front, snow on the sides. And white's super thin and I'm not, I'm trying to get it to show up over this green. So I'm not really dipping it in water that much. I'm gonna go ahead and give this little area a smell. I like it. You know, I'm gonna maybe take some of these little spaces that are open and fill them in with snow. Why not? Could look good. Sometimes the painting will just like be open for opportunities that makes sense like you got to just work with it you can't make you can't try to make yours I mean you can if you want to make yours look like somebody else's but um, even when you're using a source like using somebody else's artwork to copy sometimes um, yours looks different and so it speaks different like it um, the composition or the colors could be a little bit different or where you can, um, so people say the painting spoke to me. Uh, that's what they mean. When, when someone says the painting spoke to them, it's because it's like, oh, well this spot here, like I see these little empty spots in here and they're kind of calling for snow. Like, look how much better it looks if I just fill those spots with snow. I like that. I didn't come up with that spot. I just filled it in because the painting was talking to me but I don't usually say the painting's talking to me because 
I don't wanna. Okay. You see that snow? Getting some more water because this white paint is starting to get thick. All right. So I'm kind of filling in spaces here where the snow would look good. Sitting on top of the branches. Yeah, that was a big one. It might drip. Um, I don't know. more water because I'm starting to hear some scraping if you start to hear scraping uh, add, add water to your brush okay there's just some snow over here lots of snow I'm just kind of hunking it up here. Okay. Maybe I'll give this some snow. I don't want to add too much detail to this one over here. There we go. All right, now you can leave it like this. And maybe if you wanted to like put like black around it or <clears throat> that forest green around it or gold. That's what I like is gold. I need to get that. Okay, this is what's really gonna shimmy, shimmy it up. All right, we're gonna add gold. Um, I'm gonna add gold to the sides. And then I am going to add, uh, probably gonna add scripture on here. So I just taught this painting to, um, a community, a senior community, and one of the students suggested the, um, we were looking for a Bible verse that would be great with this one, so she suggested um, Psalm 96 12, and it goes, um, let the fields exalt and all that is in it, then all the trees of the forest will sing with joy. So this is a good one for that. All right, well, I'm going, I shook it up a lot, and here we go with the gold. Go with the gold, go with the gold. All right, I gotta clean my brush out because it's bad. You know what? Um, yeah, okay. I think I'll wipe it off. All right, and now I'm not using a lot of water with this because this metallic paint is, well, it needs more water than that. But sometimes this metallic paint will be clear. It'll be too much. So I'm going to paint these sides. More water. Kind of taking forever. Um, I'm gonna grab this great big brush. Oh man, do I love this brush. So, boom. If you have a big brush, um, you will love it. You can get so much done so quickly. If you don't have a big brush, ask for one for your birthday. And now I need to get this side.
and very gentle. And it's not perfect, but it looks cool. Like how it is, it's like it's uh, gold plated or something. You know, when they drip the gold, melt the gold and it doesn't um, come out perfect. It has a little rounded edge to it. This brush is an oval brush. Look, I like that. Okay, I need to get the bottom. This is the hard part. Actually, I'm gonna let that dry. <laughs> and then I'm going to put my Psalms on this. And I am going to use this brush. Oh, look. So, it's a thin line brush. I need to put it back into its shape. All right, so I washed it and then I put it back into its shape. And I'm gonna get it wet. And then I'm going to get some gold. And I'm going to say, um, I think I'm just gonna say, I don't know if I wanna put all the scripture on here. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to put, um, all the trees of the forest will sing for joy. That's what I'm going to put. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of water with this. Actually, I have a clean water right back here waiting for me. Okay, this will be good. I'm going to get on that later. So, I'm going to my brush up again. You know, this probably would be better with like a marker. The trees of the all the trees of the forest. I have to keep looking because I get, like I forget easily. I mean, not always, but um, you have to be really careful when you're doing art with lettering and words because it's really easy to mess up. See, I almost wrote with because I was talking. Next time I'm doing this with a marker. If you're doing this with me, take a picture of your finished piece 
and send it to me or post it. Follow me on my Facebook page is My Creative Curriculum. My Creative Curriculum. And post it. Let's see. Sing. Look, it's hard to talk in these at the same time. Okay, I'm about to make Joy so big. So Joy will be like... It almost looks like a G. All right, now I'm gonna get a bigger brush. I guess that one was skinny. And so I'm going back to that round brush that I love so much. Cleaned it out. And now I'm gonna load it up with this gold paint. Yeah, let me know what yours looks like. Um, and let me know if this helped you or if you'd like to see anything else. I really hope somebody paints with me. Come on, please give it a try. And it's okay if you mess up. This is just for fun and it's practice. See, I messed up a little bit. That J looks like a G. So I'm going back in here with this round brush where I can make thicker lines. Look at this brush, I love it. Look, I don't even, my hand's not in the way. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put, I think I could do that with this. Oh, where should I put Psalm? I don't know, I guess right here. I can only fit 96. So you have to read all of it. There. Yeah. Uh, I think another cute thing to add to this would be some dots. So it's kind of like stars. I guess I could have left it alone, but well, I didn't. I could always erase it if I wanted, but I kind of like that because it's got a lot going on. All right. And that, my friends, is a quick painting on trees and with like a little gold shazam with it. See you next time.